Good morning, everybody. I'm Jim with Momentum Digital. I'm here with Sasha and Renata from Dock Street Brewery, and this is Small Business Saturday. That was my man's too sour, broken twist that plan to never forget that. The setback, I never trumped to get back. Cutting hearts, I got trumped to get back. Frontline, like tell Trump to get back. Dock Street, package in a six pack. With Max that hit the roof up, I was on a mission. The rhymes are coming time, but this grind is my addiction. So I ain't wanna listen, cause I develop habits way faster than I can kick them. I keep the grass slow in the snake. So, Sasha, Renata. What made you guys uh, come to Philadelphia in the first place? How did everything start? And how did you guys set on the name Dock Street? So we started our company in 1985. Uh, we, it was our parents, our father and mother. Uh, they were both foodies, chefs, creators. Rosemary was a photographer. Jeff was a knife maker. Uh, so they both had a passion for you know the arts, entertaining, food, drink in particular. <laughs> and there was a total absence of good beer in Philadelphia. If you wanted something good, it was most likely a Belgian or German import. But there was no craft beers, there was no brew pubs, there was no, you know, you couldn't toss a rock and hit some local artisanal reclaimed wood brew pub like you can now. Yeah. Yes. But um, so they started the company with $60,000. They gathered up a group of investors and their goal was to elevate the status of beer uh, in the country. It's something, especially in Philadelphia, it had such a rich brewing history. Um, Dock Street, actually, where we got our name. Uh, it's right off of Columbus Boulevard. Before Prohibition, used to be lined with dozens of breweries. You'd walk down, there's kegs and barrels and ingredients being imported and beer being shipped out. Uh, it was one of the premier spots in the country to make and to uh, export beer. All those breweries went out of business during Prohibition, and uh, eventually, when it was repealed, uh, you had all these kind of vestigial shells, and we, like, the WeWork building in Northern Liberty is actually an old brew pub, yeah. or an old brewery. Uh, it's Schmitz, Schmitz Brewery, brewery yeah. Um, but Philadelphia had this great, rich brewing history that kind of fell by the wayside. And in 1985, we decided to pick it back up, and we chose the name Dock Street to pay homage to for its really rich brewing yeah. culture. That's awesome. And so, you know, fast forward now, it's 35 years later, you've had 10 years in this building on 50th Street. Uh, you know, the whole landscape of beer has changed. You know, you have breweries everywhere now, especially in Philadelphia. So making yourself different and making yourself known is definitely a huge part of it. So what are you doing to set yourself apart, uh, you know, as a brewery and then uh, marketing wise as well? Um, we're doing a lot of beers with different ingredients and really creative ingredients that people get excited about. Um, Sasha came up with this idea to Sasha, one of the former brewers, to make a beer with uh, goat brain in honor of The Walking Dead. So that is one that we did for fun. We didn't really do it yeah. for the shock value. We kind of did it to shock ourselves um, and to keep ourselves entertained and we're all fans of Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. So uh, we came up with this beer. Um, we house roasted the goat brains. Uh, we added cranberry in honor of uh, the song Zombie by the Cranberries. Sure. <laughs> and um, we put it out and it really took off. We sold out, people bought it, people drank it, people liked it. Uh, it was a question on who wants to be a millionaire. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, and we also did a beer uh, that we cast conditioned to the sound of Wu-Tang Clan. And we keep for six months, 24 hours a day. Sasha built a custom fitted speaker that blasts music into the, ca into the um, barrel. Our, yeah. our kind of our point was to, you know, see if, I think it's, we're a relatively small business mm -hmm. now. Uh, we're constantly growing and successful, but in the mid eighties, we were you know, in 26 states and six countries. Um, we sold to our investors after a couple of hostile takeover yeah. attempts. We bankrupt and we bought it back. But in this reincarnation of the brewery, mm -hmm. uh, we don't really answer to anyone besides ourselves. Uh, our meetings actually get really fun and heated. That's the idea is kind of, it's like a pinball machine with sure. ideas. But uh, we try to put things that we like and enjoy into the beer. You know, we, like the Walking Dead, so we went to brew beer. And it's how can we do something that no one's ever done before? What are we going to get that's going to keep people interested? Uh, we love Wu Tang Clan. Send every craft beer fishing out of the country, <laughs> but also us too. So Absolutely, we wanted to kind of tie that in and see if we get, uh, you know, kind of the ideology, the mm -hmm. energy, the um, even the marketing values, just yeah. attracting some of the people that like beer and like Wu Tang Clan, like music or hip hop, yeah. together. Find that middle ground there. Exactly. So we put two identical barrels next to each other, same beer, same wild yeast <laughs> cultures, and. Our goal was to see if the vibrations would affect the way Do the yeast metabolized sugar. Um, 
you know, some people call it gimmicky, but there's some sound science behind it. Absolutely. Uh, if you hear people talking to their plants, uh, you know, they might not hear what you say, but you're blowing carbon dioxide mm -hmm. in their life sphere. So there's some physical effect to their surroundings that are changing. That's what we kind of wanted to do. Absolutely. So, I mean, you said there's um, new events coming to here. Um, what else is coming next for uh, Dock Street? Any new uh, new beers we can get the, the scoop on or anything? I think we have a bunch in the works right now. Mm -hmm. um, we're kind of owning them out right now. But um, one of the things that we're really focused on is our Rare Beer for School Supplies initiative. Um, Education is incredibly uh, undervalued and underserved in Philadelphia. So once a month we work with um, different public schools around West Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working with Mighty Writers now, which is the writing group. They're based out of West Philly, correct? Uh, there's a few offices. There's one in West Philly, one in North Philly. I think there's four around town, one in South Philly. So uh, once a, this actually the whole month of September, if you come in and bring in school supplies, books, uh, pencils, or you can text and make a donation, uh, we'll give you a free pour of a rare beer that you can't get anywhere else in the world. Uh, we've done supply drives like that, we've done toy drives. Mm -hmm. so. I think we're trying to take that to the next step. That's yeah. great. We have a lot more cans coming up. Uh, we're doing a coffee sell with Bean to Bean, um, coffee roaster in Philadelphia. Um, we are always working with Chill Moody, who's a local West Philly rapper mm -hmm. who's doing great things. He's um, on the radio all the time now, which is really nice to hear him. And he's always toting our beer around and talking about, or our collaboration beer and mm -hmm. talking about <laughs> nice things IPA um, <laughs> and drinking it and bringing it to every concert that he goes to. So it's pictures of him drinking Dock Street Nice Things IPA <laughs> with, with all these rappers and that's really great. So we're still kind of connected with the hip hop world. Absolutely. And, yeah. He's gonna write you guys into one of his next songs, I hope. <laughs> he has, yeah, we're in a couple uh, of his songs. That's incredible. <laughs> it's kind of a different um, version of what happened in the 80s, 90s. We were the official, you know, on set beer of 30 something. Uh, it's gonna be bottles and cases mm -hmm. all around. There's a picture of actually hanging in the brew pub. It's Denzel Washington in the movie Philadelphia. Yeah. I, I didn't want to like butcher that yeah. on there. It's Philadelphia. There's just a Dock Street Amber sitting on the table as he's in the restaurant. And it's you know, one of those yeah. we started doing that. We were one of the first beers that did product placement mm -hmm. in that regard. So um, you know, in the eighties and nineties. No one was doing craft beer, let alone sneaking into, into, into a movie. Washington yeah, it depends films. on Washington movies. Well, that's incredible. I mean, there you have it. Uh, definitely need to come over to 50th Street whenever you can to check out Dock Street Brewery. Uh, again, it's from Momentum Digital, and this is Small Business Saturday. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. It's been great talking to you. Just give them what they ask for. I feel more with punchlines. They want to laugh more. I'm back for what's older than me. The same boy who told you that you know it's me before you notice me.